Hi, this is Daniel with Grim Grim Gaming, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a rain particle effect. So, the end result is going to be something like this. And that's with the water hitting the ground and it bounces and all that good stuff. So I'm going to provide you with these uh, crates and this board and another tutorial we're doing where you'll uh, learn how to make a obstacle course kind of game where you can fly through it. Anyways, let's get started. So this is where we will be. And let's see. All right. We're going to need to make a particle system for either our rain or our splash. But let's first start with the splash. So when the rain hits the ground, we want it to splash. So let's call this splash. And it's going to be brief. And its lifetime is going to be 1, speed 5, 3, either one's okay. Let's see. So the size is going to be between much smaller constants. Let's do uh, 0 0.05 and 0 0.125. All right, and just for some randomness, we'll do rotation between I don't know one and three. All right, so that is good. That's our basis, and it already looks kind of like it is splashing. Cool. And our emission is going to be, rather than a constant rate, it's going to be a burst because rain hits the ground and it bursts into drops. 30 is too much. Let's do 10. Cool. The shape is a cone. Cone is already good, but it seems a bit limited in how rain might actually splash because uh only got this angle so let's do uh 60 just a bit wider and when the drop hits the ground the radius is clearly not going to be this big because it's a giant drop of rain so let's do 0 0.001 and 0 0.01 is apparently the smallest and that's a pinprick so cool all right so that is how our drop is going to start and let's just mess with some randomness create a force over lifetime so we're between two constants and do something like negative 0.5 tab 0 0.1 0 0.025 0 0.125 cool so just some randomness and raindrops clearly wouldn't just splash into the air forever so we need some gravity let's add how much gravity half on five that's cool for now all right so let's go on and see about adding our material and what do we have for materials i'm going to provide you with this the splash one to make it, all you got to do is go into like Photoshop and make something like this. It's very easy. Use the uh, custom shapes. And there you go. So we'll use this. So splash particle. Add the splash. Oh, that's kind of what we're going for. And since it has four boxes, we're going to want to make a texture sheet animation. And since it's four, we'll do two by two. And that will be good. And on the render, we can get rid of like cast shadows and receive shadows. 
and believe the size is okay. All right, so uh, size over lifetime as it hits and we want it to die. So fade away. Um, color over lifetime, we do the same thing. Color blue because it's easier to see the blue. And then drag to delete it and uh, just change the alpha so that it fades at the end, depending on how much you want, just to keep it visible. There we go. All right. So. That's pretty much it on the splash. You can tinker with it to make it even uh, more random. You can make it rotate over its lifetime, anything like that. But that's pretty good. So, see? It hits. Pew. All right. So, now we need to make the actual rain, which will fall and uh, create these splashes. Yeah. <laughs>